Here's something that might shock you the way it shocked me. It's estimated that 90% of the notes that people take will never be looked at again. They sit in folders, notebooks, and apps like Obsidian, slowly turning to digital dust. Why does this happen? The answer lies in the difference between note taking and note making. In this video, I wanna explain why this happens, what you can do about it, and introduce you to the creative power that can be unlocked when you learn how to use your notes to create something new. So let's start by considering the default way of note taking. When it comes to managing information, most people embrace the filing cabinet approach. Many of us, myself included, have digital hoarder tendencies where we squirrel away bits and pieces of information just in case we may need it someday. After all, it's digital. It's not like it takes up more space in our physical environment, right? So with this approach, you simply collect everything that might be important, you store it in an app warehouse somewhere in case you might need it later. And the good thing about this approach is that when you have that thought to find something, you know exactly where to look for it. Your folder hierarchy or tagging system may not make sense to anyone else, but that's okay. You can recall information in a flash with a simple search command. Now the problem with this approach is that you have to first have the thought before you can find the file. In other words, it is a think then find approach. And search tools are great for this. They allow you to find something when you need it later, but ultimately those things aren't doing any good tucked away in that folder until you have the thought to go find it. Now note making on the other hand requires a different way of thinking about your notes. The basic idea of note making is that you don't just capture your notes and dump them into an archive somewhere. Instead, you're constantly working with them and you're updating them over time. You're not simply taking notes, you're crafting them. And your approach to your notes is like a skilled craftsman. You've got this chunk of wood or stone and inside of that you know lies the beautiful carving that's waiting to be released. Maybe you can't see it at the beginning, but as you work with the material, you start to see it come through. So for the note making craftsman, a tool like Obsidian and the idea of a workbench is really important. You don't wanna just stick that stuff in a filing cabinet. You don't wanna just hold on to things until you need them later. Your PKM system is a place where this magical transformation happens as you figure out what you think about the things that you've collected. And the end result is something that reflects your current thinking on a topic comprised of useful facts and information, as well as your own opinions on the topic. It's much more than simply a captured note. And that's why I really like this analogy of crafting it. I also really like the metaphor of a cartographer and think that that applies here as well. I've got another video where I talked about this really powerful mental model called the map is not the territory. You can check out that other video here, but the TLDR here is that when you are looking at a map, you're actually seeing an opinionated interpretation of what the map maker or the cartographer has considered important enough to include on that map. There's no way you include everything in a single map. So the cartographer has to make decisions about what's important and what's not. And that applies to note making as well. So here are some of the specific differences between these two approaches, starting with note taking. Okay, so first note taking is very static. When you capture a note, it never changes. What is there is what it is. It's not gonna change, it's not gonna evolve. And when you look at it again, it's gonna be exactly the same. Note taking also has an emphasis on capturing things where you add these things to a library. So you can just search for them when you need them, but this just feeds your FOMO in the belief that you don't wanna miss anything that might be important someday. Note taking is also very individual. The value is in the content, but it doesn't consider the context of the other notes that are in your PKM system. Note taking is also finite. Once you capture a note, that's it, it's done. It's added to the library and then you forget about it until you need it again. Then you can recall it and dig it up. Note taking also focuses on collecting or digital hoarding. It's there if I need it someday and I have everything that I need, but it doesn't add any day-to-day -day value. Okay, so now let's contrast that with note making. Okay, so unlike note taking, note making is dynamic and it's living. Your notes are constantly being updated and what is there is a snapshot from a specific point in time. It reflects your thinking on something when you took that note. We also wanna develop our ideas with note making. We wanna ask ourselves, how does this change everything else in the ecosystem? And we want the things that we collect 
to have maximum future impact. Note making is also cumulative. The value of a note is in the relationship of that note to the other notes in the collection, so it takes connections into account with these other notes in our PKM system. Note making is also infinite. It's never finished. We're changing these things all the time with the input of new ideas or new notes. So they need to be reviewed and updated periodically so that they are accurate and useful. Note making also focuses on understanding. It's actively shaping the way that we view the world and we're never done learning. So as we wrap up this video, I want you to understand the difference between note taking and note making. Embrace the role of the cartographer and don't just take notes, but make something out of the notes that are already in your PKM system. I've got a whole nother video on my creativity flywheel framework if you want to dive deeper in how to do exactly that. And if you want more help dialing in your PKM system, check out my free newsletter. It goes out every Monday morning and it's designed to help you get more out of your notes and ideas in 10 minutes or less. Each edition includes an original essay, something cool that's usually obsidian related, and my mind map book notes from a book that I've read recently. You can read old editions on my website if you want to see it first, and you can sign up for free at practicalpkm.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.